Hello, everybody. It's afternoon on day four of our adventure. For you, it may be far more than four days. I was originally going to make the series to kind of line up with the days of which, um, you know, I was recording with the day that the actual thing was going by, but that was going to be impossible. And so, with that, I guess, um, let's head into... B-13, where hopefully today we will go into one of those famous limited dungeons. But before that, we gotta upgrade our characters just a bit. So, let's see here. We're gonna give Tone a Gourd, which um, increases max value of Thirst. We're gonna give him two of them. We would give uh, Kyo slash Zio. I'm gonna call her Kyo from now on, unless you guys like the other one better. But I'm gonna give her... Um, some uh, later on. Like, I'll give her an apple right now. Actually, I'll give her two apples. Well, right now, Tone is our main fighter. Therefore, we need to make sure he's as beefed up as possible. And Candy Fish is her favorite food. And it'll raise her defense by a whopping seven points. Um, we're going to use these also, Power of Power, which unconditionally powers up a weapon's grade or their experience. But before we do that, we got to make sure we have all the right upgrades on these guys. So, Also, we're going to make sure its abs is full first. <laughs> Let's see here. I want that, that, and that. Oh, its speed is almost maxed. So... We're going to make sure it upgrades to its fullest potential first. Come on. Yeah. And once it upgrades to its fullest potential, of course, then I will upgrade it. And then I will secondly upgrade it with um, those additional... Um, yeah. How did you run away? You jerky jerkerson. Uh-oh. Uh oh, there's a second one. Stop following me. Stab it. Stab. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Wow, this is a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Got him. And did that poison me? Lovely. Man, I am just getting beat up all over the place today, guys. And I thought I was ready for a limited dungeon. I probably am. It's been a while. Transhorn for the windmill that we still have not yet received. Trans windmill for the windmill which we have now received. There we go. We got him. And we got him. Sweet. We're... Oh, my Dran's feather broke. I should have bought another one at Gaffer's. Forgot about that. Oh, well. What can you do? Take a dip and let's head on to the next creature, which is a Master Jacket. Easy takedown. Easy takedown. Oh, let us switch over to Keo. Switch back. Keo is the best at taking out those dragons by far. They have such hard shells! Ooh, I almost broke my weapon I've been working on forever. When you break your weapon, bad, bad things happen. Like, you just get super depressed. I stopped playing this game for a week once because I broke a weapon that was really, really, really good. It was kind of sad when it broke. And I think that should be yes. I am now fully upgraded and I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, I don't wanna die. 
Do I have any, um... Probably not. I have this. Yum, 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 yum. So, now that the weapon is fully upgraded, let us... Um... Here we go. We're going to upgrade it. Yes. There we go. And now we're going to customize it so that we get some... Dragon Slayer, some Undead Buster, and some Plant Buster. We're going to upgrade it a second time. Next, we're going to customize it with some Undead Buster again, some Endurance plus one, and a second Endurance plus one. And we're going to do another upgrade, guys. Boom. It is now level eight, and let's see where we're going on the buildup. Still need more magic. Still need more of those three. Still need more fish. So not very far along on that one. Still need more attack on that one. Those three on that one. Those two on that one. So we're not really building up towards anything right now. We have to wait until we can actually get those specific items from the shop and attack. Um, but our weapon is a lot better now. So, with that in mind, let's go and uh, try and finish up this dungeon. Ooh, another treasure key. Man, I'm probably gonna end up putting the limited uh, back dungeon off until next episode because I'd really like a. You guys don't understand how bad one of those darn back dungeons are, and I might need one of the. Um, I'd really like another Dran's feather before I go back there, because it is a horrible, evil place. You want to be able to run fast. Run away! Run away! So for now, we, I think, we'll just, um... We'll just take it easy. Alright, so we're gonna... Kill this. Actually, I'm gonna just take this bat down with Keo. See if there are any more bats. Ah, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'm not doing jack all. There we go. Transcrust. Open that guy up. More ladder. Hey, we'll be able to finish the third ladder. Boom. Our gooey peach. A cabin. And finally, we get ourselves a nice soul. Page. Oh, we got, finally got Paige. So we can now complete Paige's house, I bet. There's a big keyhole. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's leave the dungeon temporarily again. Man, we, we cannot last more than like one or two floors in these dungeons sometimes. It's getting much tougher out there. So the first thing I want to do, go in this menu, kind of configure an assembly again, kind of configure Paige into Paige's house, put this box in right here, and let's go talk to Paige. Hopefully she's around here somewhere. Paige? <gasps> no, that's Renee. My mammy. Age. She's probably in her house. Then let us go inside said house. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Ah, there you are. Aw, oh, look at the teddy bear. Yay. I'm stronger. 
Okay. Ah. Lovely. Okay, so, scary at night. She's gonna sew me up a big old fat sack of gold coins. I don't know. Something like that. We'll find out. I don't think I have a lamp either, so it doesn't matter. No, I don't have a lamp. So, that one is not on my list of things that I can currently do. But what is, is this windmill that I still can't complete yet, but can get fairly evenly close to completing it. And I'll complete this third windmill. Boom. How many? Oh, we're done. Not done. We still have these two left, as well as this left. Um, as well as some more bridges, apparently, to put down. So we might get some more river road or so-and-so. But we're very close. Very, very close, guys. Let's put down uh, Dran's windmill for now. I have no idea where I should put it. I need to move these trees. There we go. We'll just put it back there for now. And if I move the hag's house one closer, then we can have and move this house one to the side. Boom, we can have a road coming over here, going over here to the windmill. Road going down there. I doubt we're going to get this much road, guys. I really do. <laughs> Oh well. So we're gonna configure more trees about. There you go. And uh, just for now, let's arrange some more bridges. For no other reason than the fact that we have a ton of bridges. By ton, I mean two. Yay. <laughs> well, guys. I think that uh, that kind of wraps up that episode. We'll pick up some more of these little fluffy donuts. Yeah, more defense. All right. Fish candy, even more defense. All right. Go inside, see if we can't scavenge for some boxes of magical powder and attack. And thunder. And fire. Wow, Dran's windmill actually has a lot of stuff in it. Wind. Finally, holy. Alright. We just got a lot of new stuff for our, uh, our sword. Like, a lot of new stuff. Let's equip this new stuff, guys. I mean, come on new stuff. And we didn't equip the last stuff either. So, I need ice, thunder, and wind right now. So we're gonna go with, um, thunder, wind, and holy. I got holy and wind backwards. There we go. Now our holy's all the way at 11. Our wind's gone up a bit. Our thunder's gone up a bit be able to put on attack plus two next uh, time, along with Sky Hunter. Actually, we should put these two up front, because we'll be doing Sky Hunter attack plus two and this little fire orb. Okay. Then, guys, I will see you in the next uh, episode, where this time, I promise, we're going into a back dungeon. That may be our last dungeon, too. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.